or because this is the or operator of the length of it is greater than 20 or it's less than 5 it will show up an error so how does it how will you do that it will now say set the username error to be true because now there is an error there is a big error and then it's her so let's check this let's check this the username if we click and we click out it shows red why because it sets once it sees that there's nothing in it it resets the username error to true and once it is true the error here in the text field of the material ui component is set to true and then boom everything becomes red very very simple now if the user types in something correct now this is greater than five characters one two three four five six this is six characters and it clicks out it's still showing that error but the unblow event is still going on the reason it's doing this is because when the user types in a correct value and it clicks out there's nothing telling it to say yo it is okay now you can remove the error that's why we, we need to go back to our uh, what happens when unblow happens that means it shows up an error the user came back imputed the correct thing now when the user is clicking out of that input it needs to change to yes it is correct so that the user can know so how does he know that we just simply need to come here and see if it goes through this and sees that all this doesn't happen that means the input is all right so then we can say set username error to be false that means there is no error whatsoever so once the user clicks in and clicks out now boom the error is gone very very simple but if it's less than five characters and it clicks out the error will appear again so it's very very simple so now now that we're done with that we need to go to the email validation so now we're going to create another function and just call it validation for on below email uh, how, how does this how is this going to work? We're just going to say constant email. You know, let's name it the same way. Undo email. Let's see a function. We're now going to go to the email. We're going to see if there's on below. On there, it sounds like French. Uh, we're going to see until and to email now i did create a video on everything validation in react so if you want you should check that video out i'll put the link in the description where i talk about different ways of validating fields now we have a function here i'm not going to explain the function too much um it's the is is it an email function now this um function checks if Whatever you give it, give it as an email, is an email or not. Uh, we have certain tests here. It's going to test for it to be an email. So we're just going to use that over here in our um, validation for Envelope email. We're going to use that here. We're going to say if it's not an email. If it's not an email, which is the email input, what the user has imputed has their email. We're going to tell it set email error to true. And we're going to tell it return. That means cancel. Don't do anything again. Just set it to be true and cancel. And then if none of that is true, we're going to set email error to be false. Okay, so let's test that. Someone comes, clicks the email, goes out. There's an error. If it types React, goes out, there's still an error. If it types at, there's still an error. Until you type, if you type just a Gmail, still an error. If you put dots, still an error. But then dot com, and boom, no error. Boom, no error. So all that is good. Now we're going to check the, we're going to, Look at the password. So we're going to come here. We're going to say the for 
validation cross on blur password so constant handle password so we're going to see if there is absolutely nothing in the password imputes or the password imputes dot length is less than five or the password password imputes dot length is greater than 20 let's say 20. if any of this is true we want you to set the password error to be true and then we want you to stop running the function and then if none of that is true we want to set the password error to be false so then we go to the and we say on blur and to and do password so let's check this come out error error no error if it reaches it's no error then boom more than 20 characters error so we validated all this for on blog now we're going to validate for when the user clicks submit so now we're going to go to handle submit over here we're going to let's give us some working room in this place here and here we're going to see we're going to see we're going to check if any of this is true we're going to say if if the username if there's error in the username uh we will okay we want to show error messages now so what we're going to do we're going to say we're going to create a new use states we're going to say from validity we're going to say constant we're going to say from valid sets from valid so this is going to this is going to be the overall checker to see if everything the user just doesn't click and if you just go straight to submit it's going to check all the fields and, and be like calm down you have not imputed anything please go and impute something so we're going to say from validity when you use state and uh, we want we just we'll just leave it undefined like this undefined yes so when the user clicks clicks and um there is an error this username error is true we want it to say set form valid we're going to say set it to be user username is between five to fifteen characters characters long please please we enter okay and then once it comes up so you return sorry that let me seek return so we're going to come down here after the sign up we're going to see peter and we're going to see form valid then show the L. no i'm going to say show show us what is inside from byte so when we click this nothing works nothing works why 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 is that so valid and Done. So, on this 
Okay, so this is uh, this is one issue with it. Now, because the user hasn't clicked this, um, the username error hasn't shown up to be true. It is still false, and because of that, there will be no error. So what you need to do is uh, you need to also check if it's empty or not. That means if it has been clicked, and see or username if it is empty. That means if it's if it has not been touched, it is just empty. Uh, so you can see now it shows up the error. So that's what we want to happen. So now we want to display this error message a bit more, a, a bit more interesting, more, you know, like we have here, you can see, yeah, it looks very nice. So how do we do that? We're going to go to our material UI page and we're going to look for feedback, feedback to the, we're going to look for alerts. So you can see we have an error alert here. Uh, so we're going to copy this. Okay, no, let's not copy that first. Let's just import the alert first. We import alerts from here. Now we're going to put that. Then we're going to go down here. We'll copy this. And we're going to paste it. No, we paste it here. And this is going to be changed into on page. Save that. Okay, so let's look at it again. So you can see much, much better now. Much, much better. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go and do the email section as well. Um, and to submit. Okay, so we're going to just copy this and paste. We're going to change it to email. We're going to change the input here to email. We're going to say email is invalid please re-enter we we'll take this let's do for the password change this to password now we'll see password is set uh, coming let's see pass Password is set to five five to twenty characters. Um, is that how we set the password? Okay, yes, between five and twenty. So let's check this if it's working. User comes, select first, shows up an error for the username, put something, boom. Email uh, reacts. Okay, that's all our ads. Okay, password. Okay, so now there's no error here, but we're still having an error here. Why? Uh, that's because when you 